Car repair used to cost 50 or 60 bucks. Probably not, unless you owned a car back in the days of Corvairs and Pacers or went with dad or granddad to get it fixed. At least a light bulb's still a cheap repair, though, right? Consumer reporter John Matarese explains why even that is getting expensive, so you don't waste your money. In the old days, if a light bulb went out in your car, you went to an auto parts store, and for a couple of dollars, you were on your way again with a new light bulb. But in many of today's high-tech cars, a headlight problem can cost hundreds of dollars to fix. As one woman learned, Valerie Bainey loves her 2007 Dodge Caliber. It's small, sporty, and cute, except for one little problem. Actually, it's a big problem. Her headlights keep failing. So I went to buy a bulb hoping that that was the problem, and it wasn't. Frustrated, Val and her husband went online to several Dodge forums and couldn't believe what they found there. Dozens and dozens of complaints posted about headlight failures in Dodge Calibers. We found out on all kinds of different blogs and websites a lot of people complaining that the left headlight is a common issue and it's ultimately because of their TIPM box. According to mechanics, the Caliber and many other Dodges use this power module called a TIPM instead of a traditional fuse box to control the headlights. Val says one dealer wanted more than $900 to replace her car's TIPM. Luckily, she found another who was able to find a workaround for much less. The dealership was able to reset the computer. Um, um, in the car to remove the fault, and the headlight did come back on. We contacted Chrysler, but the automaker says at this point there is no recall or free repair if your car is off warranty. So if this happens to you, get a second opinion before spending big bucks. Val would like to see a recall saying no one should have to spend almost a grand. The thousand dollar headlight. <laughs> just to fix a bad headlight. Chrysler is not obligated to recall these headlights as recalls are issued only for safety problems. Now, at this point, the government does not consider this to be enough of a safety problem to warrant one. So my advice, get a second opinion if you're hit with a big repair estimate on any car so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.